back everyone. Today we're going to take a look at Gion trim. If you're looking for something to restore your trim, whether it's faded or even brand new and you want to protect it, this is actually pretty decent. For a 30 milliliter bottle, you're looking at $39.95. You could get 5 to 10 cars treated and protected with this. Unless a Chevy Avalanche wants to work its way into that uh, into the mix there, that's going to kill the ratio. But if you can get car, 10 cars done, uh, you're looking at just under 4 bucks per car to restore the trim and protect it. Plastic trim, rubber, headlights, taillights. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is resistant to harsh chemicals such as ammonia, IP solution, vinegar. It gives it a hydrophobic coating and UV resistant. Important for you guys down south and in the Midwest where you have the strong sun and just a killer for headlights and rubber and plastic trim. Now, it claims a nine-month protection duration. I've seen it break down at just coming up on eight months. I've also seen it last 13 months. It's all subjective. Depends on where you are, your environment, the wear and tear. So let's take a look at the Gion trim today. Brilliantly packaged in a foil pouch, the Gion trim comes in a full kit. Once I actually unseal the package and get it opened, I can show you its contents, which includes the little droplet, the foam application block, four or five micro suede applicators, The Gion Trim Solution. And a rather detailed instruction booklet. The first thing I always do with every coating, just so it's done and I don't have to worry about it, is to take the cap off, grab an old microfiber, and clean those threads. You never know if the product got in between the threads there, crystallized. You don't want that getting on your micro suede applicator and doing any kind of marring. To get started, we just want to draw a little bit of the product up into the droplet, apply a thin stripe down the middle of the application pad, and we're going to get going here. Just spread it out evenly on the plastic. You're going to see, even on new plastic, it's going to color saturate it, which means it'll give it an even darker, satin, rich look without looking greasy or slimy. It actually may look a little glossy as you first apply it, but the transfer solution will evaporate. And unless you do a real sloppy job applying the product, you won't even need to go over it with a microfiber to even it out. For one coat, just lay down one generous layer. If you're gonna go two coats, wait two hours in between your layers. If you're protecting plastic on a brand new car before it goes out, or headlights, taillights, or rubber trim, or grommets, one generous layer will do the trick. If you have faded, old, oxidized plastic, go ahead and lay down two coats. I'm just going to take my time, give myself a nice even layer on this plastic, then I won't have to follow up with a microfiber to level it off. When it comes to these square applicator blocks, I just normally put them to the side. This comes with a kit, so I use it for demonstration purposes in the video, but I'll normally just wrap the suede, micro suede applicator around two fingers, apply some product, get the work from there. I can normally get better coverage with the contour of the plastics doing it that way. And here, if you see any high spots, grab an old microfiber, level them off from there. Let me bring in a little closer, see what's going on here. You can see it's curing to a nice satin look to it. This piece of plastic here isn't treated, and you can see where it has been treated. Even brand new plastic, it'll make it look a lot better. If I can get you in close enough here at a good angle, you'll see it does go on just a little bit glossy at first, but the transfer solution will evaporate quickly and it'll start to cure. Also take notice, a little bit does go a long way.
When it comes to hard to reach areas, I'll grab this bag. I found this in a Rite Aid in the makeup department used to remove makeup at the end of the day. And these come in all shapes and sizes. You'll be able to find one that fits in just about every area. These work well and actually hold a lot of product. So load up that little pad and you could do a few sections at a time with it. Guys, always protect yourself from these chemicals. Protect your hands, wear some latex gloves. Protect your lungs, wear a mask. When it comes to external plastic trim and rubber, I'll give those a nice, generous coating. Give them as much protection from the sun as I can. The plastic trim in this area is exposed to exhaust, Everything from the roadway that gets splashed up around onto it, road grime, road film, tar. So I'm going to give this two coats. I'm going to give it the best protection and the best chance to look great five, six, seven, eight years down the road. When I have a customer that asks me about the advantages of protecting a new car like this, I tell them to park this vehicle five years down the road with 50, 60,000 miles on it next to the exact same car with the same miles and you will see a huge difference. All right, guys, I'm going to leave a link down below for the Gion trim. Not only will it restore your older, heavily oxidized, faded plastic trim, it'll take care of the rubber, headlights, taillights, but if you want to get a head start on newer vehicles, putting a layer of protection down, and it even makes the plastic and rubber look better on new vehicles, gives it that color-saturated, deep satin look. Um, guys, look into the Gion trim. Have a good one. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.